Hi guys, welcome back to High Free Garden Machinery. Today, my video is going to be on my lawn care setup. Firstly, we've got my leaf blower. This is a 2019 still SH86C. Brilliant machine, plenty of power. Uh, give you a quick start up on it later. Next machine we'll go through is my 2018 still HS45 edge cutter. This is a 24 inch model. Uh, brilliant machine, they use it a lot. Um, plenty of powers, bought from D Williams in Pont Brilliant dealer if you're after any of your equipment. Moving on, we've got my combi. This is a still KM94RC. This is a 2019 model bought from D Williams again. Uh, really like this machine. Low weight, plenty of power. And if you're after a combi for strimming, hedge cutting, I've got the cultivator attachment as well for it. It's a really brilliant machine. Next up, we have the beast, as I like to call it. This is my 2017 still FS91R. This machine I use on heav heavy brush cutting jobs. Uh, it's a fantastic machine, it's got plenty of power. Wouldn't advise this using it on the lawn, because it'll just rip, it'll just rip it up. For lawns, I tend to use the KM94. This feel like you feather the trigger with these four mix engines. There is no halfway, it's, a, it's either full or full. It's got so much power. If you're after something to go through thick grass, weeds, brambles, this is the machine to go for. Next machine is my Cobra M46. It's a 2019, uh, really, really nice machine, really light. Um, not the biggest fan of the engine, if I'm perfectly honest, but it does the job fine. It's a reasonably priced mower, does exactly what I need, what I need it to do. And they are run good machine. And now we'll just go through startups for you. First we'll do the still SH86. Got the primer bulb. Give it five, six pumps onto choke. Starts up first pull, brilliant machine. Always starts on the button. Can't recommend it enough. The next machine is my HS45. Again, primer bulb. Five or six pumps. On to choke. There's no semi-automatic choke like the SH86. This is manual choke. We've got the throttle lock. And then give it one or two pulls. See if two pulls and it fires onto run. Again, always start up on the button. Next, we've got the combi. This is KM94, as I've said previously. A primer bulb on the front. Semi-automatic choke on the back. Push it in. And one or two pulls. And one choke. Leave it warm up again, 10 15 seconds. Again, these have all been started from cold, so you can see how easily they start. Again, one 
one thing I really like about this machine is the variable speed. You can see, put it on half, it limits your throttle, so you can override it, push hard. Fantastic feature, I use it a lot, it's brilliant. Again, back up to full. I'll shut it off. One thing I really like about this is the stop switch. Really easy to use, you're not pushing back and forth. It's, a, it's always on. One problem that I've had, be, I've had before, switching it off, you're pulling, 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 and it was starting thinking, oh God, I am put the on switch on. It's a brilliant feature. Okay, next we got the Beast, the FS91. This is a 28cc 4 mix. A primer bulb, give it three or four pumps. Okay, for the choke on this, you have to hold in the throttle, turn it on, one or two pulls. Yeah, first pump, these four mix engines are fantastic for starting, long for valves, so adjust it regularly on them. It's so much power. It's a fantastic machine, brilliant amount of torque, ideal for the thicker grass as I said. shut it off this is the exact same stop switch as the KM94 which is a fantastic feature I really like about this machine and last but not least we have the Cobra M46 the primer bulb on the side I tend to give it about five or six pumps make sure your throttles all the way on dead man in <coughs> an all round good mower does exactly what I needed to and that's it guys thank you very much for watching catch you again on the next episode